Hey kids, don't try this at home. You could get electrocuted. Okay kids, welcome to the shop. Today, we're doing a science experiment. We're going to etch some metal using a battery charger and some salt water. I don't have one of those fancy vinyl cutters. So I'm gonna use nail polish as my masking. All you have to do is apply several coats and let it dry. Alright guys, the fingernail polish dried. I'm going to just kind of freehand my initials on here and peel it off. I'm just scratching my initials in here. Block letters. I don't think you guys can see this, but it looks like shit. I should have drew it first or got some kind of a template. but. It's a science experiment. Now, if everything goes as planned, this should just peel right off. Well, you guessed it. It's not just peeling right off. I literally have to scratch everything off. This was a real pain in the ass. Alright, now that this nonsense is done, let's go over to the soaking tank. So how this works is you have a sacrificial piece of metal you see it there and the object you're going to etch you need to suspend them in the salt water and add some electricity I'm using solid electrical wire to hold them in place okay let's mix up this concoction I'm gonna use about an eighth of a tablespoon eh, I mean an eighth of a cup of salt to almost a gallon of water. Okay, here's the setup. It's not plugged in, number one. The plus is on the spike. The minus is on the sacrificial piece of steel. Um, this is a six and 12 volt charger. I have it on 12 volts, I have it on six amps. Um, it's outside. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Plug this thing in. Hopefully nothing explodes. I'm gonna put safety glasses on. This just doesn't seem like a good idea. Well, it's humming. It's humming and it is hissing. So something's happened. We're gonna let this thing soak for a half hour. All right guys, we're at 25 minutes. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but you could hear it hissing. Here on the... So again, I don't know if using the copper wire was a good idea, but that's what I had on hand. The solution's dark, and you could see it giving off uh, some kind of fumes or vapor. So it's doing something. We're going to give it five minutes, and then we'll pull her out. Oh, by the way, Cuzzy sent me a case of beer for fixing his blower. Thanks, Cuzzy. All right, guys, that's 30 minutes. We're going to unplug it. Okay. We see the amps drop down. Now we're going to remove the positive. It's really not warm. Sorry about the camera work. Okay. So now we need to rinse off that spike. You know, you know, I was wondering what the uh, that process was going to do to the paint, and after hitting it with the uh, hose, it actually took the paint off. So I'm going to get a scraper and let's scrape this off and see what happens. This nail polish doesn't want to come off. This was a boneheaded move. Next time I'm going to use masking tape. Can you guys see that? It actually worked. Wonder what happens if I uh, take it to the wire wheel. Wonder if it ends up cleaning everything up and then you can't see it. What do you think? I think you're gonna screw it up. Just leave well enough alone. Now you can't see the E. I told you you were gonna mess it up. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm gonna use masking tape. The concoction's gonna be vinegar and salt. Maybe this will be more acidic. 
I used the same settings with the battery charger, but the reaction doesn't seem as great. I let it cook for an hour this time, and as you can see, there isn't that great of a reaction. Seems like we're better off with the water and the salt. All right, let's see what happened. Let's get rid of this masking tape. I guess it is etched in there pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's etched in there really good. This worked really well. What you see are pits in the metal. Now what to do with my newfound knowledge. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think.